It's a beautiful day. I'm here to share with you three public speaking exercises that can help you in your next presentation. Maybe you are a public speaker or you just want to speak or do whatever it is. These three exercises can help you. Number one, I call this the object in the math exercise, which can help you a lot. It helps you open up some of the parts, opens up, gives you that flexibility to be able to change your voice tone and stuff. So this is, a, you get an object that is like straight like this. I use pen, but make sure for health reasons, it's neat and clean. You put it in your mouth, and once it is in your mouth, try to speak. So when you grip it like this, your teeth speak out and believe, keep doing what you do, speak, speak, speak. So the more you keep on speaking, it's not going to be perfect, but you are going to keep getting better and better and better. So that's number one exercise. Number two is actually reading aloud. So this is my book, and uh, first published book. And I have speeches in this book, so you can get this on Amazon.com. Uh, uh, the title is The Confident Speaker. So I have speeches at the end of this, like Nkrumah's speeches, Nelson Mandela's address to a rally in Cape Town, his release from prison. So I can just pick a book like this and read this aloud. So I start by saying, oh, my name is Brahim Mustafa, whatever. I read, friends, comrades, and fellow South Africans. I greet you all in the name of peace, democracy, and freedom. So I'm just reading from the book. I'm just reading, but then I'm reading it aloud. So the more you read aloud, it helps you. The more you read aloud, it helps you to be able to like memorize, do one or two things, and you're familiar with the words. So that when you, once you're speaking, you can recall those words. That's number two. The third exercise is actually to sing. So if you are, whether you are good with singing or not, that is not a problem. Just get a chorus, a particular verse that you can hold on to and keep singing day in and day out. Why are you supposed to be singing? It helps you. So for some people, your voice is too low. I used to have a low voice tone, but then singing, speaking, practicing has helped me to like get a deeper voice if I want. So you can also equally do that to help you to sing, uh, to, to do more in your public speaking journey. My name is Ibrahim Mustafa, and these are some of the tips. Maybe this is helpful to you. Let me know if you have some exercises, but I wish I'll be sharing more of this. So follow my YouTube channel, subscribe to me, and let's do more. Thank you very much. I believe in you. I believe in the power of your dreams. Keep moving. Don't stop.